Uh, welcome to the media. My name is Dan Nielsen. I am the executive director of CCI North Alberta chapter. Uh, and uh, for our availability today, we'll just be having some words from uh, our presidents and board members from each organization, uh, a short statement from them, and then we'll be holding a brief Q&A at the end. Uh, and this will be recorded and we'll be providing this to our uh, members as a, as a resource for the upcoming election. So with that, uh, Anand, if you want to please take it away. Great. Thank you so much. And thanks for joining us today, everybody. My name is Anand Sharma. I'm the president of CCI, the Canadian Condominium Institute, North Alberta chapter. And with me here today are my colleagues, uh, Walter Wakula, who's with uh, the treasurer of CCI South Alberta, and Phil Rosenzweig, who's a member, a board member of the Condominium Owners Forum. So welcome to my colleagues here today. We are all nonprofit organizations with a mandate to educate and advocate for condomin condominium directors, owners, and professionals. As a combined voice of condominium owners and boards, the three organizations advocate to all levels of government on behalf of more than 20,000 condominium owners. We are here to speak about the upcoming provincial election. This is perhaps the most important election for condominium owners, residents, and those who work in the condomin condominium industry. Significant efforts over the last decades have been made to advocate on behalf of all of these owners to bring critical programs and reforms that will help the over 570,000 citizens who reside in condominiums and the condominium industry at large. But a significant amount of these critical changes have yet to be made. Collaboratively, CCI North and South Alberta and the Condominium Owners Forum created a survey that was distributed to uh, major political parties participating in the provincial election, seeking information on how they would enact and prioritize policy that is instrumental in improving the condominium industry and community. We created this survey so that our members can be well informed during this, this election campaign and use the information that's provided to help decide who they will vote for. So those are the things that we have worked uh, towards at, at this point in juncture today. This survey, uh, in this survey, we asked if each party would establish a condominium dispute tribunal. This tribunal would help adjudicate disputes and provide resolution when conflict ar arises between owners and boards. The second thing the survey asked about was providing electricity rebates for condominiums. Many condominium owners were excluded from the utility affordability rebates because their electricity was billed by the utility provider to the condominium corporation, not to the unit owners directly. Condominium corporations have had to raise condominium fees dramatically to cover off the costs of higher utilities here in Alberta. The next government needs to retroactively include residential condominium corporations in the rebate programs to reduce the inequitable burden on condominium unit owners. That's the second thing that we were calling for. Third, to implement a condominium building retrofitting grant and green energy program, a comprehensive retrofitting grant and incentive program to modify and update condominium and multifamily housing is needed in Alberta. Aging infrastructure has led to staggering special assessments to retrofit condominiums. Material costs and labor shortages have increased the cost of construction significantly. The fourth thing we were calling for is the cleaning up of the Condominium Property Act. There have been numerous amendments recommended to the legislation that are, are required to improve condominium government governance and resolve problematic issues. The Alberta government needs to work with condominium experts and owners to make changes and pass legislation that works for all condominium owners. And finally, we were calling for the establishment of a condominium database. The Alberta government does not have detailed statistics on Alberta condominium demographics it requires. The government needs to know more about condominium demographics so that departments and agencies can be in a much better position to meet condominium industry needs. So these are the five things that we brought forward in our survey to all political parties. 
I'll, I'll add on to uh, to what Anand has uh, has just mentioned uh, that we distributed this uh, survey to all major political parties campaigning to form the next government, and we only had one party, the Alberta New Democratic Party, respond to our survey. After several attempts seeking a response, we did not receive any response from either the United Conservative Party or the Alberta Party. We have worked with several departments in previous governments, and we have seen movement on issues, though we have not achieved the, prog the progress that we needed. We will work to build on this, and we need a government that will help to implement the changes the condo community needs and what we are advocating for. We will work with whichever party is elected as our next government, and we'll continue to advocate for improving the condo community by working to get our priorities and our stakeholders' priorities implemented. But we expect to see some progress. Thank you, Phil. I think that's uh, over to me. My name is uh, Walter Wakula from uh, the Canadian Condominium Institute in uh, Southern Alberta. And I'll follow up uh, with remarks uh, from uh, and, 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 uh, and from Phil, uh, we know that the purchase of a condo is often the most significant purchase in a person's lifetime. However, those who own condos are often overlooked by governments and can face inequity in, in their policies. We thus urge our members to take the results of the survey into consideration when they vote in the May 29th election. This will ensure that the next government makes condo issues a priority for them. Also. We also uh, strongly encourage condo owners uh, to make the condo community your priority when you go to the ballot box, to get answers from your candidates and to vote for a party that will take you and your condo community seriously. Thank you. I'll turn it over to Anand. I think we're happy to answer any questions. Thanks for joining us today, Lisa. Um, by all means, if you do you have any questions? We'd be happy to answer them. Sure. I mean, I guess the the responses and lack of responses speak for themselves. But did anything surprise you about the responses you got back from the NDP? Uh, we were very lucky to have both uh, Sarah Hoffman, Emily, uh, for the NDP here in Edmonton, Glenora, and the minister uh, at that time, Minister of Service, Alberta, Dale Nally, attend our conference on April 29th, and they both addressed some of these issues and and in in the NDP's response they reiterated that response uh, which was that they are going to support the creation of a tribunal immediately in 2023 and work on it as a major priority for them which was good to hear because it's something that all organizations have been advocating for for many many years and is sorely needed um, in Alberta so that was good to hear on the flip side, our uh, Minister of Sur Service Alberta did indicate that Bill 19, which is a bill that came forward last year uh, addressing the chargeback issue and voting issues would be returning under his uh, government if they return to government as a major priority in, in the first or second session. So we were happy and pleased to hear that was coming back. Uh, he announced that at, at the conference. and. Both parties, uh, you know, uh, vaguely talked about working with the industry uh, to work on on the act and uh, regs um, and some of the concerns, um, and and so we were pleased to hear that. But in terms of concrete measures on the utility on the utility issue, um, we we did not receive uh, firm commitments on um, retroactively supporting condominium owners who were, in essence. Uh, um, discriminated against in some ways by not receiving that type of affordability measure that others did in this province. So um, we're waiting to hear if there's more concrete measures there. But, you know, we are getting some responses and we have worked with both political parties over the last eight years in, in getting some measures forward. Uh, but I think it's time to get serious about condominium in Alberta. And I, I feel like sometimes we're forgotten, even though we're a very significant portion of, of ownership in Alberta. Fair enough. Yeah. Thanks, guys.
any other questions? Any questions that come in online? If not, happy to answer any questions after as well, Lisa. You have my number, uh, so feel free to give us a call. But uh, I think from our perspective, we were hoping that both political parties take condominium owners and their issues seriously. Um, and we really do hope that our, our members and the greater community does take condominium issues into the into the voting stations and think about which party is going to support them um, and their initiatives. So we're hoping that they'll do that. Perfect. Thanks, everybody, for joining us this afternoon. And uh, we will be getting you recorded copies of this for your distribution this afternoon.